Pizza Pizza! Welcome to Inspire to Cook. Today I'm gonna show you how to make pizza. Real homemade pizza from scratch. Oh yeah, and it's not your regular pizza. There is a cool twist to it. When your friends and family are gonna see it, it's just gonna blow their mind. Let's do it. First we're gonna make the dough. And the ingredients we're gonna need are very few and very simple. We're gonna need some flour, 200 grams of flour, as well as a teaspoon of dry yeast, and almost full teaspoon of salt. As well as 120 milliliters of water, it needs to be warm water. First, we're gonna add our dry yeast right into the bowl, and that's gonna follow by 120 milliliters of water and a teaspoon of salt, as well as two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna mix it all up with the spatula until it's roughly the same in consistency. And we're gonna add our 200 grams of flour. And we're gonna mix it up with our mixer, with our dough hook, you can use any mixer. We're gonna start slow until it's well combined. After about five minutes of slow mixing, our dough is pretty much mixed in pretty well. This is the consistency that you want, nice and elastic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shape it into a nice ball like this, and we're gonna put it back in. We're gonna cover it up with a plastic wrap, and we're gonna let it rise at room temperature for about 40 minutes. Our dough is about ready, so we're gonna preheat our oven for 525 degrees and we're gonna put our pizza pan right in the oven to warm it up. In the meantime, we're gonna work with our dough. We're gonna put a little bit of flour right on the board, spread it in a circle, and we're gonna grab our dough, pretty much doubled in size, and we're gonna roll it up. But first, we're gonna spread it out into a nice circle, very gently. After we rolled it up, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it right on top of our parchment paper. And then we're gonna make four cuts right in the middle. One, two, and four. Actually, I'm gonna make them just a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna add my secret pizza sauce. You can add any pizza sauce right on the corners. We're gonna put it everywhere on the sides, but not in the middle. And then we're gonna add our cheese. I'm actually using mozzarella cheese, but you can use any cheese that is moist and nice. I'm just gonna use pepperoni and cheese for my toppings. You can use any toppings. I personally like to use salami and cheese as well. But we're gonna spread the pepperoni right around it. And now it's time to beautify this pizza. I'm gonna grab this corner and bring it all the way to here and stick it up. It's very easy, just like that. Again, you wanna grab it over here, pick up this corner and stick it up like that. And I took my hot pizza pan out of the oven and I'm gonna transport the pizza right on top of it, just like that. It's crucial that it's hot. And we're gonna put this beauty pizza in the oven for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes in the oven at 485 degrees Fahrenheit, it looks like it's completely ready. We're gonna transfer it on where we're gonna serve it. Look how beautiful it looks. And if you're wondering if this circle is just for the beauty, well, not only, it's very practical. We're gonna put some greens in it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some baby arugula, or arugula, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, right in the middle, and we're gonna serve it with that. Well, it's time to try it. We're gonna cut a piece. I love cheese. Mmm. And the best way to serve it is to throw some greens on top of it. The more the merrier. If you've never tried pizza with some greens on top of it, you're missing out. And you have some really good pizza with some greens. Mmm. Mmm, this is delicious, guys. Try it at home. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'll see you next time. Today I'm gonna show you how to make pizza. Not your regular pizza. Oh yeah, and it's not your regular pizza. Ooh, sexy lady. She's delicious.